All right, backlash continues after the governor's decision to have a meat-free holiday later this month as we mark this National Agriculture Week. The Colorado Beef Council announced today a campaign they're launching to encourage people to either order locally raised beef when eating out or just cook it at home. New size Natalie Chuck with a closer look and just how far the benefits of choosing locally sourced meat really goes. Three packs of three. Sir. Bay's meat market in Pueblo carries only 100% Colorado raised meat. We were going to do something that nobody else in the area does, and that's source as local as possible on all of our products, including shelf products. The owner, Ernie Meyer's reaction to the governor's decision to proclaim a meat-free holiday. How, how could you in that, the damage that it could do to your state, your constituents' economy, and asking people not to do that. Agriculture is Colorado's second biggest economic sector. And Meyer says the pandemic only highlighted its importance. We've just come out of a pandemic proving that we need to have a sustainable food source here locally because there were times where it was tough to get and get shipped into our our area to meet the demand when we were in a crisis situation. So how can we support the local meat producers? Many of them, like Frost Livestock in Fountain, are switching to online services. The key to this business, you have to adapt. Um, and that's what I would tell a fellow producer. I mean, if you're on the edge or, or you, you don't like technology, um, you know, we have to survive and maybe this is a way to do it. And just to leave you with some food for thought. Where our water comes from and how we use our open spaces and what food we consume and where we drive our cars and how all of those pieces have an implication on the community and the culture that we build. Um, so I would say be deliberate about um, how you choose what you consume. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Natalie Chuck, News 5.